Xenea. Today I'm going to be making a pop-up card using sprinkles with joy and bun in the oven stamps and dies. So I'm starting off by stamping all my images using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I'm using my Misty tool to stamp all of them together and make sure that I get a nice impression. I'm gonna be stamping a banner from Bannertastic as well that will be in the inside of my card. Now I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to cut them out. For the oven I'm using the Sprinkle with Joy add-on die and I'm die cutting a piece of white cardstock using the coordinating die to put behind the stamp image like this. So I'm gonna be stamping the inside of the oven to make it interactive. So I'm drawing the silhouette of the door so I know exactly where to do my stamping. Then I'm using my Misty tool again. I'm placing the try inside my pencil marks and I'm gonna be stamping it and a little bun from Bun in the Oven with Memento ink as well. This set also includes some little faces, so I had to add one to my little bun. It looks so adorable now. And this is how it looks like inside the oven. Oh, don't forget to erase the pencil marks. Before I start coloring all my images, I'm gonna stamp this sentiment onto my banner and I'm using Memento dye ink again because I'm gonna be coloring everything with Copic markers which are alcohol based and this ink is Copic friendly. It could be easier to color all these images before I cut them but because I like to do my coloring all at once and I needed to measure where the tray and band would be I decided to do it this way.
I'm finally finished with my copy coloring and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little piece of clear plastic to my door oven just because I really like how it looks. I'm using more liquid glue to other the two pieces of the oven, being super careful not to put any of the glue on the oven's door. Otherwise I won't be able to open it later. And my little oven is done. Super cute. So at this point I have all my images ready and I'm gonna be working on the base of my card. I went ahead and cut this rectangle using a stitch rectangle die and a piece of watercolor wishes paper and I'm stamping a background using the images from Bunny the Oven and Fresh Lavender Ink. To make it look like a pattern paper, I'm stamping some of the images on the edge so they are partially cut. Also, I don't mind about the center of the rectangle because it won't be visible. I wanted a very light aqua color for my card base, so I'm using a Peacock Feathers Distress Ink and I'm gonna be applying it with a brush so the color looks very light and soft. I'm not applying the ink on the center because that part will be covered with the lilac rectangle piece. So to create a bit of contrast to the pastel pieces, I'm adding another piece of cardstock between them and I'm coloring it with Copic markers to match the colors I use in my images. This little trick is perfect for when you don't have a particular cardstock color to match your stamped images. And to put all the layers together I'm just using some adhesive tape. So to finish off the front of my card I'm stamping a custom sentiment created by stamping the letter from Smithy's ABCs and part of one of the sentiments from Bunny the Oven. Actually, I'm creating this same sentiment, but I want it to be bigger to fit better my oval shape. Finally, I'm adhering the oval shape and my little images to my card using some foam adhesive and the front of my card is done, so it's time to work on the inside. So I went ahead and cut two pieces of pattern paper from Watercolor Wishes and Perfectly Played Winter Collections. And I'm going to use some clear adhesive tape on the back of both pieces to glue them together. And using this little trick you can create pop-up cards using different pattern papers for the top and bottom parts. So for my pop-up mechanism I'm gonna be using one of the everyday pop-up dies, holding it in place with some washi tape and running it through my cutting machine. This tab is where my little oven will be, so it pops up when you open the card. So I'm applying some adhesive only on this part of the tab and attach the oven there, lining up the bottom of the oven with the tab's score line. Then, to adhere this whole panel to the card base, I'm putting adhesive with my tape runner everywhere except from the little tab, so the pop-up mechanism can still work. For the inside sentiment, I'm adhering the banner that I previously stamped, and I'm also stamping another sentiment from the same set just above the banner. And here's the finished card. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day. Bye!